What's going on, guys? Sophisticated here, bringing another Fizz gameplay video. Today, we're in the top lane. We're up against a Kled. Looks like we're looking for a little invade here. So I'm just cruising around with my team. Actually, they might be doing the same thing here. We might actually catch these guys all coming here. We just wait right here, I think. Just wait right here. Uh, I think they saw Caitlyn. Yeah. Got the flash out of Karma. But we all took a huge Q there. Yeah, we're kind of getting peppered up here. Um, I think they got vision there, too. Caitlyn's probably dead here. All right, this Caitlyn has flash and heal up. All right, that kind of sucks. We give over first first blood. Um, I think our Warwick is dead there, too. All right, pretty terrible start. Not the best, but yeah, we're up against a Kled. Also going to be a very, very hard uh, matchup for us. Mainly just because he's got the Ignite as well. He's running Ignite TP just like we are. And it's just kind of a hard lane anyways. It's all good. Rough start. We'll, we'll come out ahead, boys. We are going to do our best to win this game. We can't. No big deal. It's going to be a tough matchup. We're just going to farm what we can, what he'll allow us. We should be able to double E out of that pretty easily. We do have grass too, so whenever he comes up like that, now that we've got a stack, we're definitely looking to proc it. Oh, we don't have it percolated yet. I thought for sure we would have had it had it going. It's all good. He's about to hit level two, so I gotta give him some respect here. I could maybe E him here. I should be about to hit level two myself. No, I guess not. Ooh, this Nidalee is working right now. We're just gonna catch this wave under the tower. No point in even fighting him. He's way too strong for us right now. But we shouldn't have too many problems farming here. Just waiting out for his Q, because he's for sure going to throw it. Nice. We get him with a little grass proc and then just dip out. Honestly, not a bad trade for us at all. Anytime we can just whack him with a auto there with grass proc, we definitely want to do it. Yeah, and he can't really harass us too much under the tower. I'm just farming the wave, brother. Really not trying to fight him at all. He's got a ward there. Not too much I can do about that. 10 to 11. We're actually beating him in farm. I think he's looking for a cheese onto the Warwick, though. Warwick has no camps up here topside, so he should not be getting caught off there. If he gets a reset in, that's not bad for us. Looks like he may have. He did. He TP'd in there. A double E away from that. I don't want to give him the free damage on us. We do have our grass proc now, though. Nice. Yeah, we'll definitely trade autos with him if he's just going to hit us with one auto. So my runes are a little jacked up. I wanted to take um, Demolish, but it's all good. All right, he used his little four autos. I'm going to E right here because I think I still hit him. I don't. I really wanted to hit him with a grass proc here. Nice. Huge. It's actually pretty good for us. Especially considering he's backed already. Nidalee isn't up here, so... I'm going to E out of it and then come back in. He already used one of his E's. We have a huge wave here. So we can actually look to scrap with him a little. He's used his W. After he's got that down, we might look to fight him here. Um, This might be kind of bad, though. Man, our bot lane is just getting kind of toasted up there. Oh, I missed the cannon. kill. All right, boys, this might this one might be uh, kind of tough to do anything against, even though we're doing pretty solid in our own lane, all things considered, especially with this being kind of a volatile matchup, too. But I don't even think it's going to matter. It looks like our team is kind of getting beat up everywhere. Look for a little trade on to him here. Just proc the grass. I have a huge wave here, so I'm not really worried. I'm just going to reset. He's already used his TP, too, so... Not bad. 23 to 22. I can TP back in. I mean, my team is in shambles. That's that's a pretty terrible thing. But other than that, all right, we're going to go the Leandris first here. But obviously, we can't really afford anything. So we're just going to go boots. As you can see, we're running the grasp. So we're going to go the Leandris, Rift Maker, and then... Um, but after that, maybe a Nasher's Tooth or potentially like a Jack Show. But we'll see what we can do here. Tough matchup we're in. We can scale up really hard with our grass procs on this guy, but 
He's just going to be able to influence the map a little bit better than us. I'm going to keep the wave right here for as long as I can. I'm just going to last hit it. Hopefully make him miss some farm. And deny him of some XP as well. Nice. We got our level 6. I do want to ping that he's missing because he could look for a play with his ult, right? Like Roman in mid or something. Make sure we get the canny. All right. We're only down 2 CS. We are building a nice wave up here too. So if he wants to fight when he gets back, they might be on grubs, honestly. He's been gone so long. That's what it makes me think. Uh, maybe I just hard shove this. I, surely he doesn't walk up. I mean, he might because the minions are so low. Um, yeah, they're just diving our bot lane. I think we just take the grubs here. We have our support up here. Game is kind of falling apart, but if we can sneak some grubs, that's worth. Because they're going to get the dragon there for sure. I'm actually doing really well in my own lane. I wonder, is she low enough? She's kind of chunked. She might all in here. She can come help this, I think. Um, I don't have flash. That's the only bad thing. Off that lands. Just ignite her. We get her. Let's go. Let's go. And then I can just reset here. I'm going to reset and TP top. I have TP, but I really don't want to fight that right now. I can reset and grab my uh, item component here. I actually think I'm just going to go the health, though. I think the health is going to be a little bit more valuable in our particular, like our lane matchup. All right, not bad. Really good roam for us. We had a super nice uh, QR extend there where we queued off of the minion, threw our ult out. Definitely going to auto this guy and get as much damage on him as I can. I'm not letting him get a grass proc for free on us like that. If I could have got his... Oh, that wasn't worth I missed the cannon. If I could have got his passive right there, and that would have been the best. Should be able to force his TP if he has it, though. I'm definitely not letting him back right there, though. I'm going to kind of delay his tempo a little bit here. Nidalee's bot, we see that, so we're good to just kind of fight him here if we want to. She is 5-0. and oh, oof. Pretty, pretty scary, not going to lie. All right, we got his uh, his Scarl, but we don't really have the damage to kill him. I see Akali over there as well. I think he has TP, right? I don't know why he would just back like that in my face. I would like to look for a roam, but without my ult, I just don't think it's possible. I can't let him hit me because it gives him courage. Um, Is, is our team looking here? These two were watching. They may have been able to kill that Nidalee. I'm going to make a big roam here. Try to come down to this. Can we do something here? Get some suns on her or anything. I wonder if this lands. Can we kill? I don't think I have the damage because I'm running grass. Do I not have any damage here from any of my teammates? Nice. Guys. I don't know why they're both, like, just sitting in the mid lane, not helping at all. I think Caitlyn's forced to farm super far back, too. Yeah, that kind of sucks. We're doing really well in our... L wasn't it there? Yes, you were. You were definitely in the lane right here. But it's all good. We made another good roam. We got the assist on to the Nidalee. And she had a pretty good shutdown, I think. Only bad problem is this guy's about to get, like, three plates on us. Plus all the farm that he got while I was missing. Um, gonna be a super tough one to to win. At least Nidalee does have most of the farm. Or the kills rather, so at least all their gold is on one person mostly. I'll trade a little grass proc there right there to get a little bit of damage on him. For sure worth. I can't really go any further because the Nidalee's in the area and she's six kills. Yeah, their whole team's up here. I don't really think there's... Honestly, I think I just come back to the wave. We're just so far behind as a team. We can't really contest anything. And I think Caitlyn's just tilted at this point. I don't know who he's talking to. Either. I wonder if he's talking to me like my roams are bad. I think both of the roams I've attempted, we've gotten kills. If I'm uh, not wrong here. Dodge out on that. 
Make sure we get the cannon. Yeah, for someone who's so like strong and been in the lane, has that much gold, he's actually playing really far back. I think we might be able to kill him. I stopped his ult too. I'm gonna ignite him too. If he has ult, you need to ult him. Yeah. We have to ult this guy so he can't remount. It's the biggest thing. Well played. Nice. We're probably gonna lose Dragon, but at least we got the kill on this guy. Um, I'm gonna come. Yeah, I guess I do need to help him on Grubs. Because we already have three. I think it's actually pretty important to get these other three. Especially if we're gonna give up Dragons. Six Grubs is just such a power to have, like, strong power to have. If I had ult, I would look for this mid play, but I don't think I'm gonna do anything. Especially not with Warwick not having his ult either. I'm gonna get a reset, actually. This guy's gonna TP and maybe even take my tower. Let's see what he's doing. Yeah, he could definitely take my tower. But I have to reset and grab this item. It's kind of a terrible fight right there. Good flash by him. Maybe if I stayed there, actually. Good Q. His Q followed him. Oh, if Lux hit that ult. I think he's just doomed, though. Good try. Good try by the team. The war tried. If Lux hit her ult, I think... <laughs> I think we win that. I gave my whole tower again to this guy. He's got about 20 CS on me, too. There is not much that I can do about it. I don't have... I think I gave him his fourth hit, which does the most damage. Um, If I had ult there, I probably would have looked to kill that guy. I mean, they, did they get a shutdown at least? Are these guys low? I wonder if I can get a kill. Without Flash, I feel like it's going to be almost impossible to kill these guys. I'm sure they have Vision over here, too. I feel like that's why they're backing off right now. Yeah, they got Vision on me. He got the stun on him, but I don't think I can even do anything. He doesn't have his enough mana, I don't think, anyways. I just don't have the damage because of Grasp. He's so fast, too. He's got Tier 2 boots. Oh, I get him. All right, not bad. Got the shutdown. Not the greatest, but got a shutdown on him. I did lose my tower. We're going to die here. Nice. I mean, <laughs> it's looking rough, boys, but we could definitely come back and win this. I have a lot of grass. Well, not a whole lot. Got 13. But I'm just giving so much of my lane trying to roam, helping the team out. Um, what's going to be a pretty good dragon here, too. Dragon Soul, either Infernal or Cloud. If it's an Infernal one, it's going to be tough because the enemy just have so much pressure around the objectives. Um, this Kled's definitely a lot stronger than me as well. He's just been in the lane. He's got a lot of, like, gold from plates and stuff. But that shutdown was really nice. Onto the Ezreal. Don't mind if we do. Yeah, there's the dragon. It's going to be a Cloud Soul, so definitely the better for us because Cloud is nowhere near as good as, like, an Infernal Soul. So if the enemy do get soul, we're in a little bit better shape than we would be. I'm going to just come throw a ward down in the middle here. It's really... I can't even push up at all. I play mid. I wonder if I just come top. I can't really afford to go top because if I get caught by the Kled, I just die. I think I, maybe I have to look to make a play mid. I don't think they have vision in this bush just yet. I just don't have ult. Without ult, I'm not really doing much. I might run into them there here though uh, I guess not I do have TP but it looks like that Akali's still pretty healthy can we fight this their team is probably gonna be here yeah they got the, the Kled here but I feel like we can fight it oh I predicted his E to go this way and said he went towards his teammate which makes sense I might just tank this because I can E it I'm going to ignite him as I Q through him. Might be able to just burst him with the well ult. Going for this chick, though. Ooh, jeez, that Ezreal hurts. All right, I have to reset. I was going for the uh, Nidalee because I figured she'd be the squishiest. Whew, their whole team is so fed. Let's see. I think we're going to go cooldown boots here. Or maybe they have a lot of CC, don't they? Not really. I think we'll go cooldown boots. I think we can afford that. And then we'll go Riftmaker after this. So we'll start building into that. It's so close. These fights are so... What is that Q? I think this Lux might be... Uh, kind of griefing it up here. A little. I 
Yeah, uh, we're all pretty low here. Might be able to kill her though. Nice. It's a big kill, but I think they just killed the rest of our team. I don't have big enough or short enough cooldowns here. I think Ezreal comes in here and kills us. Ooh, she had to have flash. There's no way she got away that fast. Or gap close. I mean, we get one kill there. Not bad. I just need to get back to farming. The clay just farms so easy, as you can see, with that Tia map. Or the Hydra. You can literally just insta-clear waves. run Roam from lane to lane and do that. Um, honestly, I think he, I feel like he beats me in a 1v1, especially in an extended lane here. I can't even afford to be this far up. I just have to let him shove me in. Not the greatest situation to be in, especially with this chick. She's about to get smoked here. Yeah, it's not even close. Because we're devoting three people to go for that Akali. Which I feel like isn't even that important. She's one and two. Instead, we're losing our base now. Um, yeah, I can't just give this tower. Because this guy has Demolish, so he'll get a lot of damage on the turret if I just walk away. Alright, not too bad. I do have Teleport. Really not a big play to be made or anything. Um, I don't think we have the damage to kill this guy, just me and her. I'm gonna pop a health pot and come get some vision over here just in case if they have teammates. Because for sure, if Nidalee's there, we don't win the fight against him. I don't really want to pick a fight here with this guy. Because Ezreal. Ezreal just will come and like clean up the fights. I just don't feel like fighting. Taking that fight is good. I mean, I'll come and help since they're going to be over here anyways. I'm going to look for this Karma. I don't think I have enough damage to kill her. But I'm going to try. Have so got so much damage on her. But we just... Yeah, we they just have a lot more damage coming out from their back line. All right, let's grab this. Once we pick this up, we might be able to get it before we respawn. It's a nice little kill there. Ooh, big Nidalee jump in there. Ooh, dude, the, both teams are playing this so well. I think we just bail. Yeah. I'm not going to have this by the time I come up. I think it's probably best to sell this and grab this. Sell the health bot. Run here. The enemy will probably still get Dragon just because they're stronger than us right now. Let's see. Let me try and come catch this wave, whatever wave there is, to catch. I feel like this Kali kind of hard smacks me here. She's got a lot of items right now. I'm just going to play this a little slow. Wait for my teammates to be kind of close before taking a real fight. Um, I do have my ult here. Oh, it doesn't land on him. Pretty sad. I figured he would kite up towards the Karma to try and get shielded, but he didn't actually eat away. I really don't know how to fight this. Because I don't have my ult, so I really don't have a lot of damage at all. Um, I don't know if we can even contest this at all. No, they just, they just have that, I think. I think Lux has the right idea. Just push the waves. Maybe Lux and Steel with ult. That's our only hope, I think. This blue buff just expired, and I'm going to give this uh, this tower because of it. That sucks. This guy's got a ward right here. I don't know if I can clear this wave. I mean, he doesn't have his demolish, so probably can. I'm missing all the CS here. I don't have any mana. Tough game here, boys. Tough, tough game. Let's reset and grab one of these. Can maybe TP in on this? All right, they got the kill. That is pretty good. I might run mid. Uh, it looks like she's going mid. I'm just going to come back top. I honestly should probably get a sweeper myself this game. 
We're only about 20 CS down from this guy. The biggest problem is this freaking Ezreal, man. So mobile, but he also does so much damage, which is really bad for us. I think there's someone's taking that ground there. Either Kled or Nidalee. Because I can hear these little sound effects going off. I think it's Kled. Yeah, there it is. I'm going to try and come to this. We might be able to make a play out of this. I think they're just dipping, though. Let's hit that little scrying bloom. Try to deny any vision that they might have here. Uh, no one's answering bot lane. Which is not the greatest. we got to come catch that wave. Top lane as well. It's kind of a bad roam by me. I figured that fight was going to kind of progress here in the mid lane see this game is still winnable but yeah if they get a cloud soul it's gonna make it it's pretty difficult to do anything don't ah the karma he can just en on me right now if he wanted to It'd be hard to punish him as well Let's see if we can snag this we cannot do not have a whole lot of damage I don't want to pick a fight with this guy because I feel like it'll like this guy will the fight will drag out and his team can come help him. Ah, uh, we double warded. That's sad. This guy's in this bush here for sure. Just getting a little damage on him. Ooh, wow. Our Lux just got one shot. Can we do anything here? It's gonna e away. Dang, that sucks. She's pretty healthy too. I could probably do Baron here. I don't really think there's much point in me staying up on the top side of the map. Ooh, she kills the Caitlyn too. We're definitely giving Baron, so hopefully we kill this guy. I can't really contest that. I'm pretty weak. I'm just grass fizz. I don't have like a whole lot of burst. We just gotta try and weather the storm. Try to wait out their Baron. Um, and they will probably honestly their Baron's gonna lead into a dragon soul for them, I think. No, I agree, I agree. I'm just gonna push out another wave. See, I'm same level as Kled. He honestly they honestly might just all in the Lux. They do have a lot of pushing power. Alright, we'll get a reset in here. If the enemy overstay, we might be able to do something. Close to Rift Maker. Once we get that, we'll be pretty strong. And then I think for sure I'm going to go Jack Cho. Just to have the tankiness because the enemy is so far ahead. If I can be another body for our like back line to shoot. Even though our back line is both pretty weak. See, if she stays, I want to look for the Nidalee. Because I don't think she's reset yet. If she goes to that. I'm for sure coming to this. Ah, she's just so strong already. She just instantly clears them. I, mean, I feel like we want to try and go for the Ezreal, but he's got he's so strong. It's going to be almost impossible to kill that guy. I really don't know who to go for. Probably just clear waves. I think Rel's got the right idea. Really just need to clear the waves out, I think. Um, we could rotate down onto this, though. This could be potentially pretty good. I mean, we get one kill. Even one kill is huge. Because they do have Baron. Pretty big wave up top. Coming here. I think Kled... Where is that going? Is that just coming top lane to the wave? It is. I don't think that can hit me. Nice. Although this wave is going to deal a lot of damage. I don't really want to fight him, bro. We need to come defend this. I don't even think we can do much. Definitely not into Karma Shield. Oof, we're dying over here too. I don't even think we can kill this guy. I will try it. We'll just go for it. Alright, I mean, we get the kill onto him. I don't think it's really the worth super... Of what we gave for it, but whatever. It is a kill. Alright, we'll reset and grab our Rift Maker. We're 
doing decent, but yeah, it's this is gonna be a tough one, man. We've just dug ourselves into such a hole with like not contesting dragons. But I think it all stems from just their bot lane being so just kind of gapping our bot lane. The rail's not bad. She's just yeah, it seems like this uh karma's doing a lot more. We're definitely outperforming this guy. That's for sure. Man, it has one KP. Yeah, there's the Cloud Soul. It's gonna be so hard to do anything against that. She's so fast. I feel like no damage to her. I think they still have Baron too. Ooh, if I had ult there, that would have been a potentially dead Ezra. Probably not, man. With their shields, man. Yikes. I, don't, I just don't know how we handle this. Like, what is our play even? I feel like if I hit Ezreal, it doesn't matter. We don't have enough follow-up to actually like, kill him. Unless... Ooh, this guy's running it down our base. Dang, this sucks, man. They're just so far ahead in the bot lane. But this guy is able to just get a free game, even though he's 0-4. I mean, we're going to fight it out, boys. Absolutely going to fight it out. guess I'll just come answer him. I don't know, man. There's really not much we can do. If their bot lane wasn't so strong already, this guy just eat in. All right, this is good kill for us, but like I said, it's really not going to amount to a whole lot here. Oh, this is a Kali. This is their Kali. Wow. All right, that's my bad, boys. My bad. Dang, man. Had a pretty good game, honestly. A really good lane as well. Just they are super juiced. Everyone on their team. Yeah, the Nidalee getting all the dragons. And just, yeah, just kind of impacting the map a little bit more. Really set the tone for the game. I, also, I ultimately, though, I do think it's just their bot lane is leagues ahead better than ours. And they dictated the whole game because the rest, everyone on the rest of their team is kind of just meh. They're mid. Triple inhib here. I don't see a way in which we can come back from this. Because they just get Baron in 40 seconds. And then they have triple super minions. You know, or double super minions pushing down each lane with Baron buff. So I think that's just going to spell the end of us, boys. But we'll see. They could massively throw. I doubt it, but they could. But not the worst. I think we're sitting around like 23 LP right now in Emerald 1. So I don't think, even if we lose this, I don't think we'll demote. This kind of sucks because we were having a good like fist top game though. Just could not pull it off, I think. Decent amount of gold we're getting funneled here though. Honestly, they might just, I hope they just all go to Baron. Then I can just push this wave out bot lane. Just farm up. Looks like most of them are over there. That's fine, because there's no in no world do I ever go over there to help contest that Baron. We just gotta push these waves. A lot of golden XP here. Yeah, we literally just have to push these waves, boys, and just don't see a, I think the minions are just gonna win them the game, honestly. Just the pressure from the minions, super minions. Yeah, they're just gonna run in right here, I think. Let's grab some armor. They can, yeah, they could literally just run in with these minions. This guy has a Banshee's Veil, too, so I can't even like, just ult him and fight him. I'm tanking that Ezreal still did a lot of damage to me. This Ezreal is just eating us alive here. It's hard to really, like, all in him, either. He has so much mobility. I just have to fish someone, I think. Try to get his E. Yeah, look, the minions are literally just going to end the game here. Gonna try and build up grass stacks here. But I just don't think there's gonna be any fighting here. Good snare by this guy. Got him ignited. Oh. Alright, boys, there it is. Unfortunately, couldn't get the win, but it is what it is. Fizz mid or Fizz top versus uh Clip. Take it after action after this. Alright, fellas, this is the after action for the game we just played against that Clip top. And yeah, this was this was a rough game. Um, I honestly don't feel bad losing this game. I feel like we played a pretty solid lane. We had a couple of real good roams into the mid lane that resulted in, in either a kill or an assist. I just feel like this one this game
excuse me, boys, drinking some water. I just feel like this game was kind of out of, like, got taken out of our hands from the multiple, like, double and triple kills. The bot lane um, ended up giving over through those Nidalee ganks early. Like, Nidalee was down there a lot. I do realize that, but it just got the enemy bot lane as a whole so far ahead to the point where they were able to do whatever they want. Like, they both had the most damage in the game. We had a 22,000, you know, 600 damage karma support and a 30,000 Ezreal that did more damage than anyone in the whole entire game. Um, but as for our lane, we out damaged our lane opponent when we were going pretty much pretty tanky and he was going full damage. He had three assists. We had uh, nine KP, so we tripled his KP. I feel like this was still a pretty solid game because um, Kled is a tough matchup for Grass Fizz too, uh, especially when they're running the Ignite. So... Not a bad lane. I feel pretty good. This guy was like 86 mastery too, level 86 mastery. So he plays a lot of Kled. So I'm pretty happy with how the matchup turned out. Obviously, we didn't get the win. You know, lost a little bit of LP. But I still feel pretty solid about the performance. Just we couldn't pull it out. We were just too, you know, like I said, too far behind. Maybe if we could have stopped our Dragon Soul or something, I don't know. It's just the new barrier being, you know, given so much of a shield. And I think the cooldown got reduced as well. Just every ADC nowadays is running barrier, so it's super hard to like secure kills on ADCs or someone who's super far ahead. But yeah, fellas, if you enjoyed that video, drop a like. If you're enjoying the content, I really do ask you to consider hitting that subscribe button. Helps push our content out to new people, helps us grow the community and get discovered. And yeah, stick around for the next video.